all right everybody we're jumping right in so in this painting as you can see i like to draw my sketchbook first and then i either scan or take a photo of it and bring it into photoshop it just feels a little bit more tactile to me a little bit more hands-on i feel like my drawings have a little bit more life but drawing on paper does take a little bit longer than on the computer so my web comic i just i gotta blow through that baby so i just work on it on the computer it's a lot faster but when i when i can take my time take a moment to myself breathe and enjoy and just work work and create art i like to do that sketch my sketchbook so as you can see in this illustration i am painting this boss lady lion leo knight joan of arc realness what inspired her was i did this character design uh three years ago i had a project where i worked on character designs inspired by the zodiac and male and female versions mixed with fantasy rpg and that's she was the leo and i loved her design so much and when i heard this i don't know where i heard it the term freelancer comes from a freelance a work for hire knight a mercenary so recently i went freelance and yeah like i wanted to honor that and i remembered this character design and i was like let's bring her back and make make a painting in celebration you know so i did know going into this painting that since she as you saw the reference image that was the character design i did three years ago she's primarily this pastel orange creamy dream and i had in my mind's eye that i wanted that orange dreamy cream color and a pink pastel color to be in the image not all the time do i have that vision in mind sometimes i'll have just a character sometimes i'll have colors sometimes i'll have a composition but most of the times i just play and explore because isn't that what it's all about playing and having fun so I'm just grabbing those colors from that reference image getting those colors slapped down the base color in this illustration style I inked it with a one of Kyle Webster's Photoshop brush in a, one of his ink toolkits as the main tool and I didn't want to use black because I felt like it would be too harsh and stark so I used this sort of uh, periwinkle blue purple to kind of tie the piece together because it's also a pastel -y color but it's darker and also it's the contrast in color to orange so I thought you know if she's the, the focus of attention in the spotlight that might better serve this in painting to have her be the center of attention so I'm working on that background right now as you can see I didn't put any lines because I was I was kind of thinking you know like a camera and uh, some lenses you have like the person in focus and then the background is out of focus so that was kind of my thought process there is like I don't want the too much attention on the background but I want to have some you know some details there so that's why there's no line art And so now you can see this is the reference image that I used for the gazebo with the flowers that inspired the composition and the piece. So right now I'm grabbing those colors and adding them to my color palette for the flowers. With the flowers as well, since there's so much variation, so much variety going on, all those different colors, but they don't have line art either because it's the same kind of concept that the foreground and the background are out of focus and then the character would be in focus. 
colors as even as possible so it's all mixed together evenly and in this style I sort of just inked the illustration and used the fill bucket to fill in that color real quick so that we can make it through this painting And as you can see, I did different colors for the backgrounds that I was flipping through. So I colored the background and then I created it in a folder and copied it three times and then changed the color scheme for the gazebo sky and trees in the background. And I was shuffling through because I'm like, do I want a pink gazebo? Do I want a white gazebo? Do I want a pink sky? Do I want a blue sky? What's going on? I got to see it. Because I'm a visual person. Sometimes when we stay too much in our minds, we can't see it, you know. So it real helps helps me a lot to be able to just see it and make that snap decision. No regrets. No holding back. I saw it. I know what I want. So we went with the pink gazebo, honey, and I have no regrets. I don't know why I'm talking like this, guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> So now we're just adding in those highlights and those shadows, getting some dimension in this piece. I like to do just some basic sort of cell shading and uh, when working in more of a flatter style, just a little a little white highlight here a little shadow there don't hurt nobody and just it makes it feel like you can have the lighting is what I like makes it a little pop a little bit more so getting those details in sprinkling it all over there Now we're getting some shading going. Like I said, adding some of that Dameshon in. Cause I really wanted it to just feel like a sunny day in the park, in the gazebo. We are honoring this diva lion. Um, she has broken free of her chains to any kingdom. She is free to be herself in her own domain, in her own right. And we, we want to honor that, you know? We want to honor that. Because recently I became a freelancer. You know, I broke free from that nine to five grind and working on my own stuff. So I really wanted to celebrate that in this piece. Just give a little... Um, moment a little bit of a milestone on the timeline you know honor it and this is how I want to honor it and it's probably one of, re one of my most favorite recent pieces I would have to say I really love how it turned out all the colors And here's the final piece. Miss Lady Leo Lion Freelancer Knight is at your service. She's worked for hire, honey. She ain't chained to no kingdom. She's her own woman. So if you like this video, go ahead and click that like button down below. And if you got any comments or questions, I got you, girl. And you leave them in the comments section down below. I will get back to you on any tips and tricks you want to know. This and that, I got you. 
like what you see want to see more go ahead and hit that subscribe button and i will deliver to you and remember you're magical so shine on